Hello, I'm Father James Kabicki with a little history lesson today. In 1962, Pope John XXIII approved some changes in the liturgical calendar. Prior to this, there had been two feast days celebrated in honor of the chair of St. Peter. Now, obviously, the church doesn't honor papal furniture. The chair of St. Peter has to do with the symbol of authority that the Pope, and in fact, every bishop, has. His chair, or cathedra, sits in the cathedral of his diocese. Before 1962, there was a feast on this day in honor of St. Peter's chair in Rome, and that feast was moved to February 22nd. February 22nd used to be a feast in honor of St. Peter's chair in Antioch, from which he once led the church before he arrived in Rome. The chair and the office of the Pope are meant to be a visible sign of unity, the unity that Jesus desired when he told Peter, you are rock, and on this rock I will build my church. Though we're not celebrating the feast of St. Peter's chair today, we are beginning a special period of prayer that's been around for a century called the Octave of Prayer for Christian Unity. We begin these special days of prayer today and we'll end on the 25th, the feast of the conversion of St. Paul. After becoming Pope, when he first sat in the chair of St. Peter in his cathedral in Rome, Pope Benedict said the following about what it means to be Pope. The power that Christ conferred upon Peter and his successors is a mandate to serve. The Pope's ministry is a guarantee of obedience to Christ and to his word. He must not proclaim his own ideas, but rather constantly bind himself and the church to obedience to God's word in the face of every attempt to adapt it or to water it down.